Why did you do this to me, Kubra? Why did you... You won't die yet, Sadula. Not before your revenge. No, not yet. I have something to do. I have to figure a way out. I won't die yet. I have too much to do. I have too much to do. But now, daughter... Raising a baby alone isn't easy. You said the father isn't accepting that, right? <sighs> Mrs. Kevzer, it was a surprise for Cooper, too. None of us thought Yiga would disagree. She just thought he would change. I thought it was a great surprise for everyone. I guess that it was. Your pain seemed so real, I guess we all believed it. Kubra, Amir says that he wants to see you. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Kevzer, but it's important. I'm sorry. No problem. Welcome, my son. Come Hello, in, Mrs. come Kevzer. in. Go ahead. I'm leaving. Okay. Kubra, I am here. I'm here to take you with us, okay? What? Mm hmm. No, I can't do that. Yigit won't accept it. Listen. It's my house, too. I mean it. Now you gather up all your stuff, Kubra, and you come with me. Um, but he told her he doesn't care, and Kubra doesn't want to live there. <sighs> Maybe Yigit doesn't want to be a father. I understand that. I do. I get it. But I accept to be the uncle of this child. Now, come on. <sighs> this is nonsense, Amir. You can't force her to go to that house. And what is your problem, Sybil? Huh? Will you take the baby in? Will you be responsible? Will you be there whenever Kubra might need you? Huh? I thought so. Come on, Kubra. Let's go. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. I'm coming. Do you think we can afford a child? A baby needs a lot. It's hard enough for us. Stop talking this nonsense. Uh, I really don't care. She can go. She has no more honor than that. <gasps> You think that's honor? Do you hear what you're saying, Sybil? She has no job, of course, and now she has no home anymore. She has nobody to help, and you're acting strange. I don't care about all your lives. I don't care. Here, let me do it. <clears throat> Kubra, you need to get some rest, okay? You didn't sleep. Come on, here you go. Now you just rest. Derry and I will take care of all your things, don't you worry. It's okay. Why did you come, Amir? Get back to work. I'll take care of this. No, don't go to her house alone. Come on. Let's go together, okay? Mm -hmm. Come on, get some rest, Kubra. We'll be back with your stuff soon. We'll see you.
I'll go in by myself, okay? I can do it. I'm here to get Kubra's stuff. Well, that's a good thing. Because I don't want to have anything to do with her in my house. Fine. So, can I come in now? Where is she now? She's at that man's house? She has a place, so don't you worry. I hope she'll be punished as well. Don't be so rude, Sadula. Will that shameless Yigit be marrying her? I don't know. I, I don't know. She shamed me and embarrassed me. She went to that home like a mistress. What are you saying to me? Have you ever even acted like a father to her at all? I was taking care of my daughter. I mean, she didn't even look at anyone else before. Hmm. It's obvious. You locked her in. And so what happened? She went and fell in love with the first guy she met. So now she's out. A lesson to always love your daughter. This is all your fault, you know. Mm -hmm. You poisoned Kubra's mind. And I warned her. I told her that you were all bad girls. I told her that your actions were not right or appropriate. And I called you a whore. Oh, dinamit. Yeah? Well, they call me a whore because I wear a skirt, and they call you a thief when you carry a gun. Sarula, isn't that right? Well, you just cannot prevent people from gossiping. It's such a shame. Watch your tongue, or I assure you I'll beat you right where you are standing. Oh, I wouldn't advise it, Sarula. I'm not like your kind daughter. Out of my way. You tell Kubra, you hear, that she can't come here after that Yigit kicks her out of his house. <laughs> 